Among Us, the game no one knew even existed at the time of its launch, became one of the most played games of 2020. And now it has lost 90% of its popularity. So in this video, let's learn about its roller coaster journey, the rise and fall of Among Us. First of all, let's talk about the beginning of this game. And for this, we also have to know about their developer, Innerslot. So it was started in 2015 by two college friends named Forrest Willard and Marcus Bromander. The two met at Oregon State University, where Bromander was an artist and animator, and Willard was a programmer who used to work at Microsoft. Innerslot was the name they got from a random name generator. Later, they hired Amy Liu, who was an artist and used to do everything that both of them didn't. So it was a team of these three people who made games and were more inclined towards 2D games. First, they released Dig to China, which was a 2D game for mobile phones. Now, fast forward to 2017, it had been two years since they started the company, and the development of Among Us begins. But where did the idea come from? So, Bromander used to play a party game called Mafia in his childhood. It is a real-life party game where the cards are used, and the players move randomly around the house until someone else kills them. So they thought of making a video game based on this, but the difference would be that it would be set in space, because playing this at home would look quite boring. So earlier, the game was called Space Mafia, meaning a Mafia game set in space. Later, they came up with a better name, Among Us. Tasks were also added to it, which were changed many times during the development. And the characters are inspired by a sci-fi horror movie called The Thing. Then they started the development of the game in the Unity engine. And according to the developers, it was very frustrating because the game used to crash many times. And implementing mobile local multiplayer wasn't easy either. I think that the game became immediately popular upon release, but that wasn't the case. Among Us was released in early 2018 for mobile. And can you imagine how many people would be playing it back then? A million? Hundred thousand? No, not even hundred. Only 20 to 30 people were playing this game, which means it was kind of a flop at its launch, because the developers themselves said that they didn't know how to market it, hence they could not make the game very popular. After some time, a paid version of the game was released on Steam, but they did not get much visibility from there either. Now, think from the perspective of a developer. If only 40 to 50 players are playing a game, then you wouldn't feel like working on it. So many times, developers thought of quitting the game, but the few people who were playing it used to wait for its updates. That's why the team kept releasing regular updates to the game. I mean, every week a new update used to come. And the game kept getting better. Two new maps were launched, Mira HQ and Paulus. A lesser known streamer started playing it in 2019, due to which its player count reached around 500. But that didn't last long either. And again, the player count started decreasing. At this point, Business Sense says that one should leave the game and move on, create something else. But the developers didn't lose hope and kept updating it. Finally, they were about to get the reward for their three years of hard work. Soda Poppin, a Twitch streamer with almost 9 million followers, has played a major role in the game's success. Back in 2020, he had around 2 to 3 million followers. Someone recommended that he play the game on Steam. His first reaction was, what kind of game is this? But his friends insisted him to give it a try, and he actually started enjoying it. He used to play and stream this game for hours, which 30 to 40,000 people used to watch live. And they also started playing the game. Other streamers like XQC, Pokemon, Shroud, and Ninja also started playing this game. And this trend slowly came on YouTube from Twitch. Mr. Beast, PewDiePie and Disguised Toast were the next to try the game. And seeing them, their millions of viewers downloaded and played the game. Yeah, the same game which was hardly played by 50 to 100 people at one point, had, within no time, reached 100 million downloads. The developers would never have thought in their wildest dreams that their game would become so popular. 1.5 million people were playing their game simultaneously during September, and that grew to 3.8 million people in the following month. But neither the developers nor the servers of the game were prepared for this sudden popularity. They were using a free Amazon server, which was terrible. Hence, they had to work overtime and under a lot of pressure to fix all these issues. And after this comes the phase of popularity. That phase where they finally get the fruits of their hard work of so many years. Among Us has become a cultural phenomenon in every part of the world, whether it is the USA, India, or Europe. Memes and mods started being made for the game. People started creating awesome content like songs or animation videos. YouTube and TikTok were getting billions of views from everywhere. Developer Williard said that watching this fan-based content was the best part of Among Us. A new word became popular due to the game called 
sus. This was the slang for the words suspicious or suspect. And similar slangs like sussy were also born. Sussy baka. You already remember the flood of imposter memes that came at the time. Even politicians started playing this game. Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez and Ihan Omar played this game live with Pokimane to encourage people to go out and vote. That stream had 700,000 concurrent viewers. This means the craze for that game was on a different level. To cash in on the hype, Inner Sloth launched its merchandise store. In 2020, they earned $50 million from the game. And in 2021, they earned $86 million. They had little savings when they kept working on the game in 2018 and 2019, so they deserve to earn money from it. It also won many awards and the game started appearing on lists of the best PC and mobile games of 2020. Now the question comes, how did the game become so successful all of a sudden? You already know some of the reasons, like lockdown. It was the year 2020 when lockdown was new and people were getting frustrated sitting at home. That's why people started spending more time on social media and games. When they were already bored with games like Fortnite, PUBG and Minecraft, Among Us went viral at the right time, which was the perfect game to connect with your friends. Then the game was quite simple to get started. As there is no story, you just have to start playing. In such a situation, the streamers played it and gave it the push it needed. Apart from this, the developers also took the feedback from gamers seriously. This can be understood from the updates to the game that they kept releasing even when only 50 people used to play it. Hence, they cancelled the plans for Among Us 2 and made a plan to update this game further. They started improving the game according to the feedback. Amy once said that she used to watch Twitch streamers get feedback on where to improve, and reviewers also praise the fact that the game does not push you to make microtransactions. This means they prioritize the gameplay experience over money. But everything was not good. As soon as they fixed the server, hackers started coming into the game, out of which the most dangerous was Eris Loris. But that guy mentioned in an interview how he made a bot in just six hours that had impacted 4.9 million players. Basically, he used to join the game, promote his YouTube channel and Discord server and chat, and he also threatened to hack players' phones. Later, he started posting controversial and political stuff, and even asked to vote for Donald Trump. His Discord server was full of offensive things too. Parents started to worry about this bot as it was spoiling the game, and their children were exposed to such controversial things. The developers swung into action and announced that they were working on an update, but until then everyone was advised to play only in private lobbies. We can see that the game remained at its peak of popularity only in the second half of 2020, and at the beginning of 2021, after which its popularity kept falling. Basically, the main reason is that such indie games do not last long. No matter how much you love these simple games, you will eventually get bored and leave the game after a certain period of time. We saw a similar pattern in games like Subway Surfers, Temple Run, and Angry Birds. The main problem is that there is nothing to grind in these games. Other multiplayer games like GTA Online, Valorant, and Fortnite have a constant grind that keeps you engaged, and the gameplay is also very unpredictable. Among Us was not that kind of game, due to which its popularity started to fall. The developers tried to revive it, for example, a map based on Henry's Stickman universe was added to it. It was named Airship, which also had some new game mechanics. That made this game a bit popular again, as players came to check out what was new in the game, but they all went back. And at this point, a small team was probably also a problem, because Inner Sloth had only three people earlier, after which they must have hired some more people, but they could not aggressively expand the team according to demand, so that they could deliver interesting content and updates every week. Because of this, the console launch was also delayed, and even the launch of Among Us VR and Hide and Seek mode in 2022 has not been able to attract players back. Whatever it is, the game has become a legacy. They have collaborated with many games and companies like Fall Guys, Arcane, Halo, and Ratchet and Clank. Cosmetics from Benoit Blanc's Glass Onion movie were added to the hide and seek mode. This game is being played even in the movie, and the game was also used to advertise the movie Free Guy. Meanwhile, Epic Games copied Among Us and launched limited time modes called The Spy Within and Imposters. The developers got agitated and said, We didn't patent the Among Us mechanics. I don't think that leads to a healthy game industry. Is it really that hard to put 10% more effort into putting your own spin on it though? Inner Sloth later added that they are always open for collaborations, just a meeting away. After which, Epic admitted that those modes were inspired by Among Us, and officially collaborated with them. A one-shot manga was also made for the game, 
Even a simplified version with the name Hidden Agenda is being used in research on AI. A new map and some updates are planned for this year. Let's see what the future holds for Among Us. According to me, they should come up with updates more frequently and make more games, anime, TV shows, and everything else. Whether they are able to regain popularity remains to be seen, but it has become a part of our culture and will always make us feel nostalgic. Maybe a new social media trend takes off like subway surfers and they'll be back to their peak again. Watch the video on the left to learn the history of the subway surface, or watch the video on the right to learn about the untold story of hill climb racing. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, The Game Explainers.